congressman from Fort Wayne used to play on that congressional team. Former 3rd District Congressman Marlon Stutzman played on the GOP team for six years. News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts spoke with him about the t his time on the team and his friend Steve Scalise. She continues our coverage live from the newsroom. Kelly? Well, for Marlon Stutzman, the baseball team was a family affair. His sons would often go with him to the morning practices. He says we need this game now more than ever. There was times when I did think, you know, there's a lot of congressional members out here. Uh, we could be sitting ducks. For the six years Marlon Stutzman played on the GOP congressional baseball team, it wasn't often they were without security at practices. Steve Scalise, who was shot, uh, is part of leadership, and so he would have his security detail there. Generally, when there would be 15 members of Congress or more together, there would be some sort of security. You know, we really never thought that there would be anything like this, even though there was times it's like, boy, if somebody knew. But today, Stutzman is thinking of the good times. It's always just fun to be out there with your colleagues, doing something different than what you do on the Hill every day. Stutzman praised the work of the Capitol Police on scene today. So did Congressman Jim Banks and Todd Young. Uh, it was due to their heroic efforts that the that the uh, shooter was brought down. They'll be getting a few extra handshakes from me today. And I know many others will be doing the same. Neither Banks or Young play on the team. Senator Joe Donnelly plays on the Democratic team and was practicing this morning in D.C. On Twitter, he said he was okay and that his thoughts are with Representative Scalise and those who were hurt. Stutzman hopes to see the game played tomorrow, a critical time for the camaraderie. I think it's such an important piece to bringing civility and bringing uh, the, the both sides together and realizing that we have so much more in common than we do different. There were some children at the practice today, so Stutzman says he and his wife gave their sons an extra hug today. Reporting in the newsroom, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15. Thank you, Kelly.